Now, the farmers in Raichur are facing problems due to illegal pump sets put up all along the Tunga River Canal. But even after several complaints, the officers have agreed to take action against only a particular sub canal. This is the famous Tungabhadra River that flows through Karnataka and joins River Krishna. The left canal of this river supplies water to nearly 6 lakh acres of land spread across Raichur and Koppal. But over 100 people from the nearby villages seem to be misusing the supply of water by this canal. The people have illegally tapped the water by using pipes along the canal. This is making the farmers on the highland areas angry as the water supply to their fields has stopped. A few of the farmers have now requested the water resources officials to remove the illegal connections. The officials have agreed to their request and removed the illegal connections in the 55th sub canal. Another canal that supplies water to the Sindhigi Taluk also seems to be misused in a similar manner. But even after various complaints by the farmers, the officials seem to have turned a blind eye towards their problem. <laughs> ಬಹಳ <laughs> It seems that the government's bid to help one group of farmers has opened up a Pandora's box. Moreover, this is also creating a rift between the farmers. It is high time that the officials looked into the matter in a neutral way and removed all illegal connections from the canal. Sidhu Biradar, Raichur, News 9. Now, it is not just uh, people brimming with joy after the monsoon arrived. People of Shimoga are overjoyed looking at something they have been waiting for a very long time. Take a look at these breathtaking visuals. The Mullah region has been witnessing incessant rains over the last few days. While the people are complaining that it has brought the whole region to a standstill, the farmers are definitely happy. The Tunga Dam is brimming with water. The water level has crossed the danger mark and all the 16 gates have been opened, releasing more than 8,000 cusics of water. The farmers are overjoyed since they now have ample water to irrigate their crops. Tunga Dam being a tourist spot, many have been rushing to Shimoga to get a glimpse of the dam in all its glory. <laughs> It is not just the farmers of the region who are happy. Farmers in Haveri, Gadag and Davangere too are overjoyed since they too will receive ample supply through the Tunga Canal. While the overflowing dams are a reason for celebration, there are many farmers who feel that there should be tanks and other facilities that will help them store water for future use. But for now, the tourists and residents of Shumoga are definitely happy since they are witness to the overflowing Tunga Dam. Despite many saying that the monsoon this time could be dismal, this region is definitely seen otherwise. They just hope that the other regions in the state too receive rain at the right time. Basavaraj Yaraganavi for News 9, Shumoga. Now most of the places in Karnataka are rejoicing the rains, but things are not that rosy in Darwad. Here's more on the situation over there. Look at this man carrying cow dung on his head. Well, don't be surprised, he's just trying to please the rain god. Dharwad has seen a 60% drop in the annual rainfall this year. Farmers are distraught since they are not able to water the crops. Even sprouted seeds have dried up. 
The farmers in the villages are eagerly waiting for the rain to come and hence are performing special pujas to please the rain god. The special puja is called Gurji, where one carries cow dung on a cemented basket which is placed over the head. The villagers carry the idol of Lord Baswanna and chant prayers while they follow the person performing the ritual. Later, the procession visits every house in the village where the residents pour water on everyone. The ritual has no history, but these villagers have been performing it for several years now. The villagers believe that this puja can bring the rain that they are hoping for. People across the state who are hoping for the rain to arrive soon have been performing puja to appease the rain god. The people of Darwad now hope that their last resort does wonders for them. Narsim Apyati, News 9, Darwad. Now, in this era of modernization, a village in Gadag is still called Gandhi's Ram Rajya. Take a look at the speciality of this village. Lingadala village in Gadag has fulfilled Gandhi's dream of Rama Rajya. But what is it that makes this village a Rama Rajya? The speciality of this village is that there are no liquor shops. To add to this, there are no tea stalls, nor are there any hotels here. It has been six decades that the village has put a ban to liquor shops, tea stalls and hotels. There is a reason behind this development. In the year 1942, some miscreants of the village used to steal groceries from the farmers of the neighboring village and store them in a hotel here in Lingadala village. Learning about this, the neighboring villagers attacked the villagers of Lingadala. The rift between the villagers ended up in a murder. This is when the elders of Lingadala village banned hotels and tea stalls in the village. The ban on liquor shop, hotels and tea stalls has got this village the name of Gandhi's Ramaraja. This has stopped unemployment in the village. The youngsters do not have any place to waste their time. Instead, they concentrate more on their work and manage their time well. Villagers never involve themselves in gambling or any other sort of illegal activities. The villagers levy a fine of 10 to 20,000 rupees in case anyone goes against this tradition. For Bengalurians, this village may seem undeveloped. But the villagers call this their Ramaraja and the youngsters of this village also wish to maintain the name attained by this village. Sanjeev Pandre, News 9, Gadag.